So this is the first touch screen you'll come to inside the dinosaur experience at Wild Willie's Adventure Zone. Um, it says the copy on the left says you have just stepped back in time 66 million years. Welcome to the Cretaceous. Modules along the path like this one will interpret what you are experiencing and explain how paleontologists study life in the deep past. Touch the buttons and images on the screens to engage in the Tyrannosaurus experience. So they just touch a button and it will introduce them to the scene in front of them which since this is the first touch screen will be the circle of Tyrannosaurs that have just run into the Tyrannosaur guarding its nest. And the copy says, tempers flare as a herd of Triceratops accidentally encroach on Tyrannosaurus nesting grounds. The herd circles in defense. The Tyrannosaurus puts on an intimidating show. Can we predict what might happen next? Touch the buttons below to find out. So the first button, labeled animal behavior. Uh, I did not hit that right. There we go. Okay, animal behavior. Uh, we've got an animation that will play in a continuous loop of a circle of Triceratops with the babies in the middle, the larger ones on the outside kind of hiding, guarding uh, the youngsters. And the copy on the left says, Animals sometimes have little time to make life or death decisions. Instinctive reactions are triggered by stimuli and have been evolutionarily honed to keep animals alive in dangerous situations. The herd has circled up to buy time to find a way out of this one. The Tyrannosaurus will not be moving since she needs to protect her nest. It looks like the Triceratops herd will have to find another place to graze. And I think I'm going to take all these labels out here at the top uh, just to give more room to the important copy. They've hit the button, they've seen the, the title. Um, so when and where are we? Uh, going to do probably an animation that involves the geologic time scale and kind of brings people back to the end of the Cretaceous, uh, the end of the Mesozoic, uh, the just before the KPG boundary geologically, but I've got to put that together still and add that. Um, so the copy on the left says, as you can see around you, the world looked a little different back then. Tyrannosaurus fossils are known from places in North America where the Lance and Hell Creek formations outcrop. These are places where the rock exposed at the surface is made of sediments deposited on land when the upper Midwest looked more like the Florida Panhandle. Outcrops of these formations are most commonly found in Canada, the Dakotas, Montana, and Wyoming. And the last button we have, Scientific Method, has a video, which I still have some work to do. It'll play on its own the first time you come to it. I've got the audio turned down quite a bit right now. I can send you the script that uh, has the verbatim copy right now. It's got a lot of uh, uh, video of me talking, but most of that will be laying over, as you can see here, with uh, stills animated, perhaps not as fast as these are moving. But a little work left to be done on that, but the script is there, and and it's about two and a half minutes long, the whole video. So while I'm talking there, I'll read the copy on the left, and it says, Science is a process of asking questions and performing tests to find and check answers. Science is something everyone does in their daily lives. Deciding what to wear in the morning, preparing meals, navigating a real or virtual environment. These are all processes that parallel how science works. Use your own skills of observation and reasoning while touring this exhibit to make up your own mind about T-Rex and its role in the late Cretaceous world. And you can see the video we we're talking about how science uh, as, a, as a process is used by paleontologists to answer questions. And we'll go back to the start page here. And after five minutes, it'll uh, automatically, if nobody comes and touches the screen, we'll return to uh, this, this first slide.